Hey there, it's CG William. Today is pack number one in my Magic the Gathering Kaldheim bundle. The focus of the video is what is your pick? As I crack the pack, I will discuss which card would be my pack one pick one. My viewpoint will be from a very casual Magic the Gathering player perspective. It will not be a pro tour grinder or even Friday night magic grinder take. It will be a kitchen table draft having fun with friends opinion. Check out the preview video on my Kaldheim bundle. I have added the link to the preview video in the description below. Let's get to cracking. Pack number one. Fearless Pup, single red mana, wolf at 1-1, one, one, has first strike. You can boast for two and a red. Fearless Pup gets plus two plus zero until end of turn. Activate boast ability only if this creature attacked this turn and only once each turn. It's definitely something you'll run in an aggressive red-white deck. God's Hall Guardian, six mana, five and a white, cat at 3-6 it has vigilance and foretell for three and a white foretell is a pretty cool mechanic you can pay two generic mana exile it face down and then cast it on a later turn for the foretell cost it could go well in a controlling deck but aside from that not very playable undersea invader six mana four and two blue giant rogue at five six it has flash undersea invader enters the battlefield tapped this is a card that you're only going to play in the blue-red giant wizard deck. Aside from that, it's not very impactful. Seize the Spoils, 3 mana, 2 and a red, sorcery. As an additional cost to cast the spell, discard a card. Draw 2 cards and create a treasure token. A little more expensive tormenting voice. The treasure token comes in handy if you're splashing a third color. Horizon Seeker, 3 mana, 2 and a green, Human Warrior at 3-2, it has Boast. For 1 and a green, search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. I like playing this common in a green deck where I want to ramp. I also like playing it in a deck where I need to splash a third color. Coma's Faithful, 3 mana, 2 and a black, Elf Cleric at 3-1, it has Life Link. When Coma's Faithful dies, each player mills 3 cards. I'm on the fence with this card. It does work well in a black-green mill strategy, but aside from that, any black deck that you put it into, you may mill the cards that you want to play. Dog Pursuit, four mana, three and a black enchantment. At the beginning of your end step, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. I think Kaldheim is a slow enough format you can get away with playing this. It will do incremental damage, but it just doesn't seem that there's a life gain, life loss deck in Kaldheim. Run ashore, six mana, four and two blue, instant, choose one or both. The owner of target non land permanent puts it on top or bottom of their library, return target non land permanent to its owner's hand. This could see some play in a very slow controlling deck. It could be considered a blowout. Weight down, single black mana, sorcery as an additional cost to cast a spell. Exile a creature card from your graveyard. Target creature gets negative three, negative three until end of turn. I like this as a good removal. You gotta get a creature in your graveyard, but black does have a little bit of self mill. Code spell cleric, single white mana, human cleric at one one, vigilance. When code spell cleric enters the battlefield, if it was the second spell you cast this turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. I want to play it on turn one and have a 1-1, one, one, but I want to play it later in the game and put a plus one, plus one counter on something. First uncommon is Sock coming. Three mana, one and two blue, instant counter target spell. You can foretell it for one and a blue. I think this is a pretty powerful uncommon. I'm always going to foretell it, and then I'm going to have a cheap two mana counter anything spell later on in the game. Basalt Ravager, 4 mana, 3 and a red, Giant Wizard at 4-2. When Basalt Ravager enters the battlefield, it deals X damage to any target where X is the greatest number of creatures you control that have a creature type in common. 
Most of the time I've seen it come on the board and do maybe two damage, sometimes three. A 4-2 body is pretty weak. Draugar's Helm, two mana, one in a black, artifact equipment. When Draugar's Helm enters the battlefield, you may pay three mana to one in a black. If you do, create a 2-2 two -two black zombie berserker creature token. Then attach Draugar's Helm to it. Equip creature gets plus two, plus two, and has a menace. Equip for four genetic mana. There's an uncommon cycle of these spells in each color. You're always going to want to try to cast it and pay the additional mana to get the token. Okay, well, we get a great rare or a mythic rare. Bergy, God of Storytelling, three mana, two and a red. God at three, three. Whenever you cast a spell, add a single red mana. Until end of turn, you don't lose this mana. As steps and phases end, creatures you control can boast twice during each of your turns rather than once. It's cool that I got a showcase card of this. You're going to play it in an aggressive mono red deck or even an aggressive red white deck you should be able to play multiple spells per turn giving you additional mana to use to boast on your creatures during your combat volatile fjord snowland island mountain it enters the battlefield tapped in draft i try to get as many of these as possible even if i'm only playing one of the colors because snowlands are at a premium and then a Dwarf Berserker Creature Token. Okay, my favorite card, or best card out of the pack, is definitely gonna be Burgi, God of Storytelling. It's definitely a pack one, pick one. Once you select it, you go heavy in red, heavy in white, try to pick up as many boast cards as possible, and ride it to the finish line. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, please subscribe and share. Take some time to tell me in the comments section what was your favorite card or the best card out of the pack. Until next time when I'm back to crack a pack number two from my Magic the Gathering Kaldheim bundle in what is your pick?